Hi, I'm Navani and today we're going to be going over how to get started with battle pets in three easy steps. Step 1. The Basics There are 10 different pet families with each family having a unique passive as well as strengths and weaknesses. To view a family's passive and damage taken just hover over the familial icon on the right hand side of the pet journal. Pets come in 6 different quality tiers with rare being the highest obtainable quality as well as many different pet breeds that affect a pet's stats. To find out a pet's breed, the best add-on to download is Pet Battle Breed ID, which I'll link in the description below. Step 2. Obtaining and Leveling Pets The easiest way to obtain your first level 25 pet is to have a level 3 garrison and to complete the quest Unearthed Magic, offered by Leo the Lioness. Completing this quest will reward an ultimate battle training stone, which instantly levels a pet to 25. The first pet I recommend leveling is Grumpy. Grumpy is very good for capturing wild pets as his Howl and Super Bark combo will reduce a wild pet to 1 health without killing it. Next is the Tarot Claw Hatchling, which is a fantastic PvE pet with extreme survivability. This pet can solo many battles and is good for taking out common aquatic pets. Last but not least is Chrominius. Chrominius has a hard-hitting combo with Howl and Surge of Power which can one-shot most pets. Arcane Blast is also great for taking out common flying pets and for hitting the back line. Once you have one pet level to 25, you'll be able to buy other level 25 pets off the auction house. As you see, I've recommended some pets to capture, farm, and or buy from the auction house in order to have a well-rounded starting team. Next, you'll want to collect pet charms by enchanting your shoulders with Boona the Zookeeper from Dramus, located in the Magical Menagerie in New Dalaran, and by completing pet charm missions in your class hall. You'll need 45 pet charms to buy an ultimate battle training stone, or 15 charms to buy a marked flawed battle stone which upgrades a pet to rare quality. These stones can be bought from Leo the Lioness in the Magical Menagerie in New Dalaran. Capturing pets is fairly straightforward. Just reduce the pet's health below 35% for the trap icon to light up and then throw the trap until the pet is captured. Then continue to defeat the remaining pets if there are any. Also, when you're out looking for battle pets, make sure to have the track pet option enabled. Capturing wild pets level 16 and above will also incur a small level loss. After you've completed a pet battle, be sure to heal your pets with the revive battle pet spell located in the pet journal or by using battle pet bandages which usually drop out of pet bags or can be bought with pet charms. Step 3. Battling Pet Trainers once you have a well-rounded pet collection, you can start defeating pet trainers. The goal here is to defeat 40 master trainers and obtain the safari hat which increases pet battle experience by 10%. Trainers are always a good way to level up battle pets. There are a plethora of trainers that can be two petted, which basically means using two level 25 pets to defeat the trainer while boosting a lower level battle pet. For example, most trainers in Pandaria can be defeated using the Emerald Proto Whelpling and Anubisath Idol. Leveling a plethora of pets takes some time and patience, but with a bit of persistence you can take on harder pet challenges such as the extremely challenging Family Fighter. That wraps up how to get started with battle pets. If you like guides like this, be sure to let me know with a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Bye!